2022-2023 season has brought us incredible storms and several POW days already. We started off the season in Colorado just before Halloween and have recently settled in Utah as we ride out some of the recent storms and cross over into our 32nd day on the hill. With new snow in the forecast, we load up Luna for a trip up Little Conwood Canyon with Papa Joe. Good morning, sort of, sort of season three. It may only be the beginning of December, okay, but it is acting like mid February right now. Woke up to another in Park City, looks like about three to four inches. Papa Joe is in town, and so we're not gonna knock out of the bird with eight. By the time we get there, it'll be 10 inches. I came up here so I could grab Joe, Lo gonna load his stuff up. We're gonna head out to Little Cottonwood for another, hopefully, another sick pow day at the bird. I asked Joe what skis he wanted and he's gonna be using Vertica Enforcer 110. So on Tyroli Attack 16s. Yeah, I think 110 is a little bit narrow in my opinion, but that's just what Joe is, Joe's rocking. And he also has the, uh, the zip line, blur poles in orange. I think Joe should use his white walkers today, but I think he's a little nervous. condition check here for you guys nine inches in 12 hours so it is gonna be another banger of a day nearly a foot of snow I think that wind speed is not correct 283 miles an hour I think it actually should be kind of more on the mild side today so Monday morning pow day I'm all for it for breakfast this morning we're going with two hash browns a little bit of turkey bacon and then I have some eggs with some sausage bits in them actually so pretty gnarly of a little breakfast here nine inch pow day you got to you gotta be prepared to be out for most of the day. Papa Joe's also rocking the new, what are those, the Emmons bibs? Emmons Street bib, yep, Emmons Street bib. Do you like them? I like them. They're dry, they're thin, so you gotta wear an underlayer, but I'm super comfortable in them. Bibs are always nice, as long as you get the right length. What about the, uh, the clicks? I'm letting Papa Joe use the new zip line goggles. Oh no, these are, these are so much better. Just a nice redesign, man. Much easier on the nose. Uh, good peripheral vision. I'm all about them, man. I like them a lot, actually. So with the Icon Pass, damn. <laughs> it's already deep. With the Icon Pass, you only get seven days to Elta Bird, and this is my fourth day. So I'm gonna have to figure out a plan for when we use them all up, but to be honest, when it's this good, you just gotta let it rip. We'll deal with the consequences later. pretty quick there's only about a 15 minute delay so it should be pretty rad to be on the tram this early it could be a long day of tram laps the pre-game hype is sick here there isn't a single person in line whose heartbeat isn't beating above baseline just with intrepidation or trepidation i guess it is but man We gotta just spin down the little cloud. Well, I don't know if you want to do that or go to Gad 2. That's the Gad 2. Did they say it was open? I yeah. thought they said it was closed. Yeah, no, no, Gad 2 is open. Alright, I'm down to do that. Right now, a lot of the upper cirque is closed. Uh, so, we're gonna have to keep an eye on it for when they open it. 
But for now, I think we're gonna rip down to Gad 2. Stuff like that. Pucker bush. Pucker bush down to it. Yeah, it's all closed. What's up, man? Oh, it feels so good to have the elks underneath us. Let's go! Oh my God. John? What's up, dude? Yeah, Lucas. Yeah, nice. Oh, Lucas, sorry. No, it's all good. Dude, you're a beast of a skier, man. Let's go. Oh, oh my God. Oh, let's go. Oh. Oh, rock! I'm choking on it! What up, man? Yeah. I love your YouTube Thanks, dude. You. What's your name? From Skyler. Skyler? Sick day, right? Yeah, <laughs> Oh my god! Oh! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Let's go, Joe! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Let's, go. Let's go! Let's go, dude! Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! That was stupid! <laughs> Utah snow there's just absolutely no comparison like it is just so dry it's, it's such a blower day today it's just it's beautiful my only complaint is that they lie about the amount of snow they get they say yeah. it's six to eight inches and it's face shots yeah I'm not sure where they get their math maybe the ruler they're using is, is, an, is an extender sure yeah it's a little stumpy though but you know what I mean yeah the uh the surf up so it's now time to actually start skiing it feels like and i think first thing is we're gonna try the great scots um via rat's nest here
really good. What's that? It's all good, really. Looks like they give you some ropes to kind of repel in. It's actually, I've done this where it's been a lot gnarlier. It's still a little bony, but trying to just come down, throw it right in the tree here. Oh First great Scots of the year. Incredible. I can't even describe it. It's just one of those days. Just one of those insane days with the bird. We're doing the same thing because it's so good. Oh, it's actually easier now. And then we're gonna drop into the right once once it opens up around the corner, okay? Alright. Just watch these couple gnarly little cat tracks, okay? <laughs> Just when you think it's over with, it can't get any better, it just starts, it just decides to start nuking at the bird. Joe and I have probably done four great Scots to mock Chanel's because when you're with Joe, that's what you ski. So we're gonna try to rip some stuff on the other side, but Joe's slowing down a bit, even though the snow is picking up quite a bit. It just, just doesn't stop here. We've been ripping since 9 a.m. See how long we can make it with just consecutive top to bottom trams, so. It's just, it's just otherworldly up here. I wish you all the best I can and I stop myself for a while. I'm saying things I don't believe the penny is nothing. This is insane. I mean to call this early season is actually comical. Uh, this is probably the best powder day I've had in two years, I think. Just a tremendous mountain with snow that's second to none. I mean, why ever go anywhere else? That's kind of really the question. The tram line was never really super long throughout the day. We were probably always like one tram out. But now as the day goes on, it's 1.30, people are getting tired. Now we have walk-on trams, which is just like, it's like extra punishment. Because you're already feeling it, and now you just have like, sometimes that extra tram is nice to just chill out. But now you just have walk-on trams, it's like, this place is just nuts. The easier route from Hidden Peak to the bottom of the tram is marked with blue trail marking squares beginning on Upper Chips Run. These are designated slow skiing, riding, and no jumping areas. For your safety, be aware of existing hazards. Please observe all slow skiing, riding areas and all posted signs. And remember to stop only where you are visible from above and you do not restrict traffic. Okay, guys? Open areas right now include Peruvian Gulch, Cirque Traverse, High Baldy, Gad 2, Gad Valley. Thanks very much. Stay safe, stay healthy, and enjoy your day. Thank you. Thanks, Mike.
again Then I stop myself for a while Right through there, yep. Yeah, careful in there. Right. It's not all good. That's a that's all rock. It's just stupid deep. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that was the sickest day of the year, and honestly, one of the sickest days I've ever had in my life. I feel, I just feel bad that we're still leaving it up there. There's still more snow to be skied. Oh, the heater's on. Let's go. Oh. Go. Get in and close the door. Yeah, just one of those days where you got, I mean, just snows everywhere in your hair and your helmet right and your balaclava i mean look at that helmet i don't even think i fell today how does snow get up on top of my helmet dude we were in it it was going over our head <laughs> it was just nuts it, was, it literally was going over our head i can confidently say that today was one of if not the best ski day that i've had in the past, I don't know, two to five years, it was just it was just an incredible day, and I just feel like it encompasses what uh, skiing at Snowbird means to to me, and especially my dad and I, which is just like skiing all day long, endless face shots, gnarly terrain, you know, not even stopping for lunch or anything like that. I mean, it's just it's just kind of how we've always skied, and to have a day like that, and then most importantly to share it with Papa Joe. I mean, those are always the most special days. Um, it wouldn't even have mattered how good the conditions were. The fact that I'm out there with Joe and that we can rip as hard as we do, relatively speaking, um, as a duo is just, it's just so incredible and something I, especially as I get older, I do not take for granted because uh, it is just a really, really cool feeling to be able to ski terrain like that with my 60, you know one or two year old dad noticing how the how the dynamic has shifted from when you know when i was little joe was always making sure i was okay getting into shoots and and whatever um and now as you know i've gotten older and he's gotten older i'm the one who's kind of making sure the shoot is okay to get into making sure he's okay getting through it so it's um it, it's just yeah it's kind of something that I just I just love skiing with my dad, skiing at Snowbird, skiing at Snowbird with my dad in a sick pow day. It just does not get any freaking better than that. So my plan is to head up uh, Park City and Canyon, see if I can get some leftovers from some of this fresh snow here um, in these next few days. So thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you thought of the epic pow at Snowbird, and I will see all of you guys in the next episode of season three. Take it easy, fam. Peace out. Oh.